Hello, everyone, and welcome to another season of Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll preview the 2014 fall season with Bulldog football, Bulldog volleyball, and women's soccer. We'll start with Bulldog football and joined now by defensive coordinator Ryan Hodges. And uh, Coach, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you having me. I know uh, you're excited about the, the season opener Thursday night at McKendry on the road and a uh, long time coming since uh, the end of last fall. Uh, j just talk about uh, the expectations going into this opener. Well, after the last two seasons, this being our third season, we have a lot of high expectations. Um, we always expect to be near the top of the GLIAC every year, and our goal is to win a GLIAC championship and make it to the playoffs. Last year, we, we ended up seventh in our region, just one shy, and we had a couple games there. If we uh, could have went our way, you know, we'd probably get in and have a chance to go for the national title. But you can't have that chance unless you make it to the playoffs. I know you closed the year uh, last season on a four-game winning streak, a lot of momentum going into the offseason. How, how did that help the offseason program? Uh, you know, it gave us a lot of confidence going in. We got a, a lot of young guys, you know, and they, they saw how we built things, and we got a lot of guys returning as far as on the offense and on the defensive front. Our young guys are more on the back end on the defense, and they're hungry. They want to play, and uh, they saw the success, and they saw what we can do, and, and they're ready to go out there and, and get some wins. I know uh, some changes on the defensive side uh, with Lou Esposito uh, taking the head job at Davenport University. Uh, uh, you're a former player uh, moving into the defensive coordinator role along with uh, Ryan Brady, Tespa Smith, uh, a new assistant coach. Just talk about that transition defensively. You know, it's been kind of a smooth transition because uh, I, I've worked with the past two defensive coordinators. I got a good knowledge of what we've done, and I've taken uh, kind of the best of both and put it together for our own defense. Uh, coach Brady coming on our side of the ball gives an offensive perspective, so I think that helps us out a lot. And then Coach Smith has been a great addition. You know, we got him late had some things happen, and we were lucky and fortunate to get a, a high-quality coach as Coach Smith. I know as a, as a former player, as a Bulldog alum, what's, what's it meant to you uh, to be back at Ferris State here the last three years? You know, I, as an alum, I, I love I have a little more vested interest in, in this thing and seeing this thing through, and, and uh, I'm familiar with the campus, and uh, I love being a Bulldog, and I'm just proud to be able to, to contribute and be a part of this team. Bulldogs uh, started preseason camp here a few weeks ago, and I know uh, finally that time where, where you're ready to get out, take on somebody new, and, and you'll face that McKendry on Thursday. Yeah, you know, facing McK McKendry as a new team, uh, I'm glad that we're finally facing a Division II opponent week one. Um, you know, last year we played North Dakota State, a pretty hefty opponent, and then the year before we played St. Francis, an NAIA team. So it's good to get a team that's going to kind of count towards our regional rankings. I think it, it was good to go play North Dakota State. It was a great experience. But in the end, we need that Division II game so we can get that under our belt. What have you seen uh, in watching McKendry on film and, and what they like to do uh, with, with so many starters back off a, off a team uh, under a second-year head coach? You know, Coach Babcock's a good coach. You know, he came from UCLA. He was at CSU Pueblo. They had a good offense. He ran that offense. Um, last year, you know, being the first year, you got to kind of – install some of your base philosophies and, and you could see throughout the season how they progressed and they gained confidence and you know they're picked fifth in their conference but I think they're going to surprise some people I, I think coach has got a spring under them now they've had some time they got some really good athletes uh, they, they've recruited well so and we're going to play in the next two years so I, I expect them to come out ready to, to come attack us and uh, we're ready for them. You've, uh, Bulldogs have got some national rankings here in the preseason, uh, some preseason All-Americans. Uh, just talk about those guys coming back and what that experience means and, and how that helps fuel those expectations. It's, it's always good to have guys who have played enough, a lot of football, you know, and when you get guys like that, they can build off their experiences and, uh, you know, come out there with, with a little bit more confidence that, hey, I've been here before, I've seen this level, I know what I'm doing. And anytime you got a good amount of those guys, it, it really helps you in the end where you, you look at the guy next to you and you go, I've been here with you before. I know what to expect from you. And then with our young guys, the, they're inexperienced, but they're really athletic. So they, they're going to make some mistakes, but they're going to make them fast. Three weeks uh, here at preseason camp, what have you seen over those three weeks that maybe, maybe has been different here than the last couple seasons? Um, you know, I've seen us come together as a team. You know, not, not in a sense of on the field, but the more off the field stuff where, you know, we got guys who are, have built that camaraderie. And I think that's something that you can't measure. And then when you got that with guys who are good at football and you build that teamwork and that camaraderie and, and that ability to work together, I think the sky's the limit. Certainly a, a long bus trip uh, down near the St. Louis area. It's going to be hot down there. Uh, how does that affect the game plan going in? You know, the big thing we've been preaching all week is, you know, stay hydrated. 
you know, it's going to be hot. We've told them, we've told them the temperature down there. We know what we're facing. Uh, we've watched some games on TV. You see guys cramping, and you know, once you cramp, there's uh, not much else you can do. So we're we're tra trying to stay hydrated. We're trying to play a lot of guys. As a, as a defensive coordinator and working with the defense, uh, certainly you get to face uh, one of the top offenses in the country every day in practice. What what does that do? How do, how does that help you as a defense? They put us in situations that a lot of teams don't. They prepare us for everything. I've been working with uh, Tony for quite a number of years now, and I, I've seen that offense over and over again. And no matter what, we're going to see every scenario in practice. We're going to have practice every scenario, every formation adjustment and things like that. So, so it, it actually helps us on game day. You know, it gives us a, a better feel, and we're, we're able to kind of, you know, call a defense and – and be put in certain situations and we can handle it. On the, on the defensive side, certainly uh, you mentioned a little little young on the back end, but uh, some great experience returning up front. Justin Zimmer, Corey Stone, uh, just talk about that experience on the defensive line. Yeah, you know, our defensive line is our, our hardest working unit, our best unit. I mean, we've got eight to 12 guys that can play. So the depth there is gonna be key for us in, in all our victories. And, and you know, Justin Zimmer is one of the hardest workers I've ever seen. He's a, a great kid, a great football player. You know, Corey Stone is very similar in that sense. He's a quick tackle. He, he's had experiences as his third year with us here. Um, Marcus Cribbs is, is probably our best uh, overall prospect up front. And, you know, when he's really got it going, he's got a motor, then, then we're really good. And then Carlton Johnson on the other side is another, I mean, really good defensive lineman. We're solid up front, which, which makes us feel comfortable. We don't have to do a lot of different things to try to beat people and try to confuse people. We just got to go out there and play football and play hard. It's on us. Certainly uh, one game at a time, I know, as a, as a football coach, you like to say, but uh, come back next week uh, on the road for the GLIAC opener at Northwood, then back at home against Grand Valley. Uh, just talk about the challenges uh, that lie ahead in the GLIAC. You know, like you said, you know, we, we typically look at our first opponent that we face. So we're really focused on McKendry, and uh, that's our main focus, and ourselves. We've got to be good. We've got to know what we're doing first, you know, before we worry about what other people are doing. But beyond that, you know, Northwood, uh, Head coach Reitman is going to be back. They're going to be running, I, I believe, some similar type stuff that they did before with the option, and we see that every day. So that, that should help us prepare for that when it comes time after this, this game's over. And then uh, Grand Valley's always got good athletes. They're always going to be good. They're, they come back every year. They reload. And uh, I, I don't worry about us being excited about that game. We're always fired up. I just, you know, I know that they're going to be athletes, and they're going to fight, and they're going to compete, and it's going to be a great game. Finally, I guess uh, before we close here, uh, going into McKendry on Thursday, what do you see as the, the keys to the game maybe for the Bulldogs? Uh, first and foremost, we always got to stop the run. You know, if we can stop the run and make them one-dimensional, then, then we'll be really good defensively in being able to stop them. And then getting that experience under our wings with our, with our young guys, you know, making sure that they get that game experience and they're, they're playing the game instead of thinking too much. So we want to keep it simple and, and fly around and have a good time. Coach, best of luck as you travel to McKendry and then back uh, for the GLIAC opener next week in Northwood. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.